Um, uh, I don't have much of much dramatic stuff for you today. Um, the viewer pipeline is kind of thin at the moment. The experimental login viewer is still being experimented with. And uh, there's the snowstorm viewer that uh, some of you contributed to that's out as a release candidate. Um, it will probably stay that way for a little while, but uh, so far it's doing fine. And uh, we'll see how that goes and continues. Um, the set of project viewers hasn't changed in a while. And, uh, you know, we have various ongoing development projects, which I don't really have any that I, we talked about quite a bit last week, but I don't really have any, any news, new news on this week. Um, so, uh, I guess we'll just open the floor for whatever people want to talk about. Just don't all talk at once. Or we could make this the shortest third party developer meeting in history. <laughs> the auto build work is going really well. Um, there are two separate versions you could in theory be testing, one that does 64-bit and one that does not. They will probably be merged shortly. Um, I think Tech will found some issues with Linux 64-bit. Yeah, I have not seen a good problem, problem description from TechWolf on just what the issues are. TechWolf had a bunch of problems that Mostly had to do with not getting the Python environment set up correctly. Um, whether or not there were other problems beyond that is not yet clear. Yeah, we've done some more fixes to auto build large address, so. Um, I'll have to give that experiment a little bit later on. I've been busy this week since the last time I. Last time I emailed you about that, uh, I've been busy driving the truck, so uh, couldn't really yeah, well, go further. you know that but making a living I have it, it, really irritating. Yeah, it was just not recognizing the command line arguments because if you see they help the the little snippet I gave you, it was help and it says choice, but it gave no no choice for some reason. Was it reading the choice variable or something? So I'm not sure what was going on there. Yeah, that's. That's really curious. I'm tempted to believe that somehow you were getting the wrong version of Art Parse. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into that. But like I said, the environment is very clean. I just set up a brand new CH root and uh, just uh, started uh, building with it. So okay. it's not like contaminated with anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I. Uh, I'm hoping we're, you know, we're we're putting in a few more last-minute uh, improvements and changes. Um, some of them you might find mildly irritating because we're we're making it stricter about handling of things like licenses and copyrights. But um, uh, other other than that, it's uh, it's it's very 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 close to being ready to call it done. Um, so I hope that by the middle of next week, I will have merged large address uh, and the various other bug fixes we've, we're doing together into auto-build metadata, and then we're going to start using it for everything uh, as part of the toolchain upgrade project. Um, we'll be setting up some pages once we've gotten started on, on VS 2013 ourselves um i want to we're trying to get the auto build thing finished and get some new build systems set up internally with that are configured that way uh, and when those two things are done we'll start actually doing work on them 
So we haven't really started that yet. We've just said we're going to. Um, I have no news on compiling in Linux. Oh, I, oh, I do. That's not true. I do have news on compiling in Linux. So a couple of people have asked me about the fact that we have that we're compiling on a later version of GCC and therefore with a later version of lib, std, c++, all that stuff. Um, and uh, we do have Debian packages for that, and we do have the sources from which we built them. Um, and I, I believe that I can make those available to you, both the Debian packages and the the um, and and how we built them. Um, I still have to do a little bit more auditing to make sure there isn't anything in there that I'm not supposed to be giving away, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any problem with that. So. Um, I will try to get that done next week, too. Um, I, I, I certainly can't get it done this week. Um, 32s. We're, we do all our building 32 bits. 32 bit. So, um, you know, whether or not we'll be able to... We're, we are putting... Uh, the plan at this point is to is to put in the 64-bit support into auto-build, whether or not we will use it is a different question. And even if we do, whether or not we will release the resulting viewers is yet another question. So we'll see. Um, lots of uncertainties there. And I don't expect them to be resolved quickly. Yeah, um, one one could almost make the argument that it would be safe to switch to 64-bit only for Linux anytime, just because, uh, just because if you're a Linux user, you're probably on a machine that can handle it. Um, you can almost say that about the Mac at this point, given the fact that we're not supporting anything earlier than 10.7 anymore. Um, but not quite, it turns out. Um, now, it, it turns out there are some Mac Mini models that are supported, that support 10.7 and, um, and still can only run 32-bit. But building fat binaries is not that hard on the Mac. Um, the, 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 so the versions where we could, we, we could do one, but, but they're still going back and rebuilding everything. And right now, I definitely don't have the uh, I don't have the the capability, the bandwidth, the time, developer time to go back and rebuild everything for the Linux viewer. Which is why we're not including that in the toolchain upgrade project. Oh, I do have one little thing. I've been recompiling all of Monty's uh, updates. Uh, the WebKit uh, one really turned out to be nice. He really cleaned it up. So kudos to him. Yeah, uh, he did a great job on that project. Uh, and 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 uh, and added documentation in the process, which is you know, for which he gets even more kudos. Just one little note. Uh, front config still pulls in the system free type because I did not have the system free type installed and front config failed to build. And uh, also one other thing. This is on, was, on Linux? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> and SDL had a rare bug that uh, I encountered years ago. Fortunately, I uh, gave myself notes on it. If you uh, SDL will build without X, but uh, later on, your viewer will fail to build because it can't find the X.h header. And it drove me nuts for several days until until I uh, rebuilt SDL with, uh, with X, and then it fixed it. Ah.
Uh, is there something in the works for creating this programs for streaming media? Um, well, there's, yeah, I mean, we've got a project to update where we're trying to build a viewer using Chrome embedded framework. Um, whether or not it will need QuickTime is a different question. Uh, I assume she meant not Netflix's website, but I, I, don't, I don't really know. Um, if if we're going to do anything to move, if we were to do anything to move things out of the viewer project, it would probably be low-level things, not high-level things. Moving things like LL Common and so on into outside libraries. But frankly, that's all of that is pretty unlikely. Um, very little end-user benefit to breaking things up. Got a lot of end user benefit things to work on right now. So, hopefully, by the time we have our next meeting in a couple of weeks, uh, more people will be back from vacation and we'll be making more progress on, on a bunch of these initiatives that we've got sort of standing around. But, uh, I don't know, ask me in two weeks.
Uh, and before you ask me, Tank, I don't have any news on any cocoa-related issues of any kind. All right. Well, I think we're, I think we're going to have a super short meeting today. Um, group chat lag. Well, we're still continuing to work on group chat lag. We have the the um, the systems that we needed to update for our next round of experiments were getting updated for a different purpose by a different project. Um, and so we're sort of waiting around to make sure that that went smoothly before we do our next deploy. We try not to redeploy the same systems too frequently. Uh -huh. So um, the next round of experiments is hanging fire, waiting for waiting for that update to get a green light, and and then we'll be done. We'll be ready to do it. Um, we have not done much specific work on Mac issues. Yeah, we have had a lot of group failures. We're watching that very closely. Um, we have some idea of why it's happening, um, and we're working to alleviate it, but uh, I don't really have any updates in, on, on that. Um, it is if if your if one of your groups is failing contact support, tell them you know messages are not being passed in my group, and uh, they have a process for getting the servers restarted, and sometimes that fixes it. Uh, I, I can't get into what our theories are about why it has gotten worse lately, because either I'm right or I'm wrong, and neither way would it be helpful. Twenty-seven minutes. Wow, that's that's pretty terrible. Do we intend to release a public K KDU repository without the KDU SDK included? No. Uh, yeah, we will be upgrading KDU probably as part of the the tool chain up, update. Since we're going to have to rebuild it anyway, we'll we'll do the upgrade. Do whatever is current at the time we do it. We should help your performance a little bit too. Uh, that'd be nice. They have some more uh, better multi-threading with the newer K uh, KDU. Well, hopefully that won't trip over anything we're doing. Oh, that's that's good to know. Yeah, we've been updating KDU as KDU's have been giving out new updates. Yeah, I I got the uh, I got one just what a couple of weeks ago and haven't done anything with it yet, other than flag it as something I need to do something with.
Okay. Um, are we done? Have a good weekend, everybody. Ha, 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 ha.